This episode of D News is brought to you by Harry's. Everything is tougher in space. You have to swallow your toothpaste, you can't shower, you need to float near an air duct to clip your fingernails. First world problems, am I right? Howdy friends, Trace here for D News. Taking care of what we consider basic things here on the ground is instantly more complicated in space. Think about body washing, face shaving, hair cutting, tooth brushing. Now think about doing that with limited water, no room for error, no shower, and no sink. Anyway, you get it. Space is real different. Every astronaut is provided a personal hygiene kit, which includes toothbrushes, toothpaste, combs, brushes, nail clippers, and shavers. Toothbrushes in space work pretty much the same as here on the ground and look the same as well. The way teeth are cleaned is really similar, but because of the minimal water use requirements, they just squirt a tiny bit on the bristles and then brush away, making sure to keep all the suds in their mouths. Once they're cleaned up, there's no sink to spit in though, so they swallow the foam and drink a bit of water to clean their mouth out. Space is weird. There are no nail salons in space yet. Without gravity, these clippings would fly everywhere, and in the words of Chris Hadfield, they won't fall to the ground. You can't sweep them up. They'll float everywhere. They get in your eyes. People breathe them. Not good. Air circulation on the ISS is important because air tends to stagnate without wind to blow it around. Thus, you could float into a CO2 bubble and be unable to breathe if they didn't circulate it. Because there are systems designed to filter, suck, and blow the air around the structure, Hadfield made a video using that system to fix his fingernail problem. He clipped his nails in front of a duct that pulled air in and booyah! The clippings got hooked into the filter and could be easily vacuumed up later. Shaving and hair cutting is equally strange thanks to the air movement and lack of gravity. Male astronauts on the ISS usually keep their hair short and clippers attached to a vacuum help with that task. They cut each other's hair and clippings are sucked away. They wouldn't want those hairs, you know, just floating around getting into equipment or lungs. Some female astronauts keep their hair long because they can and also for the amazing visual of all that hair hair in microgravity. Super cool. I reached out to NASA to find out if female astronauts shave their legs, and it turns out they do. It's hard enough to do it in the shower. Imagine doing it in space. Shaving of the face is the same as hair cutting, and there are two ways to go about it. NASA allows astronauts to use either electric or traditional razors, but due to limited water resources, most of the men prefer electric. They just have to watch out for those stray hairs flying around. NASA has conducted experiments and found that blood's natural surface tension will cause minor cuts when shaving to beat up around the wound rather than openly ooze, like when under gravity. Healing does take longer, but regular Earth bandages seem to work just fine. Like blood, water also has natural surface tension, so when astronauts put it on their bodies, it sticks. Astronauts use sponges and wipes to clean off sweat or grime. Hair is cleaned with minimal water, plus a leave-in, no-rinse shampoo developed for hospitals here on Earth. Water is then allowed to evaporate from the hair, where it's then condensed, filtered, and reused out of the air itself as drinking water. Hygiene in space is super weird. How do you feel about these methods of space hygiene? Do you think you'd be cleaner? or dirtier if you could join them on the ISS. Tell us your thoughts on space cleanliness down in the comments and check out Harry's if you're looking for razors here on the ground. Harry's was started by two guys who thought that paying a crap ton for blades was crappy. So they bought a German razor factory and made the experience of getting your razors cheaper and classier. The blades are affordable and pretty sharp. If you want to try them and support the show, go to harrys.com and use the promo code DNews to save $5 off your first purchase. You can order them right online and they'll ship right to your door. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.